Hey guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace, reporting to you from Drew Ridge Cemetery here in Pikesville, Maryland, which is a little bit outside of Baltimore. Behind me is the resting spot of two prominent Baltimore sisters, Claire Bell and Etta, short for Henrietta Cone. They were never married and they traveled the world and amassed so many beautiful pieces of art during their lifetime, during a 50 year period. Uh, Clarabelle actually was a female doctor that practiced at Johns Hopkins, one of the first female doctors to do so. Uh, they, like I said, traveled the world. They were friends with uh, Martise and a young Pablo Picasso. They also bought pieces of uh, artwork by Van Gogh and some other things as well. It's displayed, believe it or not, at the Baltimore Museum of Art. Claire Bell unfortunately passed away in 1929 when they were overseas in Switzerland and her body was laid to rest right behind me and 20 years later her sister Etta passed away in 1949 now she bequeathed the Baltimore Museum of Art uh, their whole collection and there were other cities that were definitely interested in, in having it but since they lived here in Baltimore she gave those beautiful um, pieces here to Baltimore and also $400,000 to open a new wing, the Martise wing, and those items are displayed there. Now, the thing that's uh, interesting, they lived at 1701 Utah Street, and that's where they would display their artwork. And I believe they had two apartments, one um, apartment A and apartment um, 8A and apartment 8B and that's where they displayed their art and that building is still there that's the Marlboro apartments and that's located like i said 1701 utah street it's still there and it still looks really nice uh, they were two of 13 children that their parents had they were um their parents were uh german jewish uh immigrants and they had located to um, Tennessee actually the sisters were born in Jonesboro Tennessee and the family uh, made their money in the textile industry and then they moved to Baltimore when they were uh, grade school age and um, this became their home anyway this is the mausoleum that they're buried and you can see there's been a few visitors this is a Jewish tradition of leaving rocks right there when you come to visit someone I left one myself right here to show that I was here but uh, anyway they like I said they were not married and didn't have any kids and um, like I said if uh, you go to the Baltimore Museum of Art which is free as located right behind Johns Hopkins University I'm on 1701 Utah Street here in Baltimore. In front of you is the Marlboro Apartments that the Cone Sisters wound up living. And it's uh, on the historical registrar. And there is a sign right on the side of the building that mentions that Claire Bell and Etta Cone lived here and were art collectors. So this building is still is in existence and it still looks very nice so this was the area where a lot of people with wealth uh, a lot of jewish people uh that that uh, own department stores and some of the other businesses here in baltimore lived actually on this on this block but uh, uh i don't know how much the apartments are going for at this time but uh it's still occupied and it still looks good
Hey guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace. I'm here in Baltimore at the Baltimore Museum of Art. I'm about to come inside and show you the Cone Sisters art collection. It features Henry Matisse and some other uh, great artists as well. They donated this and then also um, $400,000 to make the wing for it to um, be exhibited in. Uh, the Cone Sisters were Claire Bell and Henrietta, uh, I believe uh, Henry, uh, Henrietta passed away back in uh, 1950. So uh, they would travel the world and uh, pick up all different type of uh, pieces of art of some of the grand masters. But anyway, it's free to get in, so that's even better. Come on in.